Hello everyone. Today we're going to be making toys, tinkering with them, fixing them up. This is basically, uh, we're going to be that guy from Toy Story, the one that does the thing to the eyeball. I promise there will be no disappointed children in this video. All the kids today are going to be so happy. They're going to basically say, Santa, get the fuck out of here, dude. We got Mr. Wooden Sheep in town. He's going to be making the best toys. Santa, get the f But I'm going to say no need for violence, kids. We're here, we're gonna play Toy Tinker Simulator, okay? So, username. Um, fuck Santa. Not Santa, yes. Do you wanna play the tutorial? Yes, I do. Come on, everybody, put your hands together. This section shows your level. This section shows the toy repair progress. This section shows up. Okay. Okay. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have accepted the tutorial for this. Music player. Okay. I've played a video game before. Click this button to go to laptop. I would have never guessed. This button takes you directly to the laptop. We get two tool tips for that one. Oh, I have to, you have to click it. Okay. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Is this a remix of a Christmas song? Wait, what was that? Wait. Dun, dun, dun. It's like, dun, 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 dun. Is that Santa? Is that a Christmas song? Hmm. I'm not sure what that is. Toy projects are here. You can get a project here. Thank you. You know what? You know what? I'm done with the tutorial. Yeah, I'm sure. Thank you. Play. Listen. San maybe <laughs> maybe Santa needs a tutorial. Not not me. Hey, no, please. Not a Don't start it all again. Okay. Skip, 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 skip. Mm hmm. Click. Okay. No, please. Okay, you want me to click the project? Fine. Okay, get your first project. Okay, it's a little choo choo train. <laughs> get the original parts for the project. So we bought the original parts. Now you can open or hide the list. So we're gonna. <sighs> okay, so we need a chisel. And the tool we're gonna. We're gonna. Okay, we also need an ultrasonic cleaner. Yeah, I'm gonna pin it. Thank you so much. I'm gonna buy the items I need. So I needed a chisel. Which one do we get? My. F oh my God! Who thought this was? The tutorial is so obnoxious. Okay. <laughs> Please! I get that. I need to view and buy this. I just bought the tool. <laughs> Please. It's already halfway through November. About time to get started on this. Yep. Clear notes. Oh my god, close notes. Yes, I know I have the necessary. <laughs> the music as well. This list shows the toy parts. Okay, see, this is what you need a tutorial for. Maybe this section, not click and click and buy and buy. Okay, yellow frame. Process can be started when required parts are transferred. Okay. Okay. So, zoom in on the toy. Here we go, baby. Here we go, baby. Oh, that is a good toy train. It's a little bit dirty, but that's what I'm here for, baby. Zoom in on white outline toy part. Um, there's quite a few white outline. Okay, I'll just click on this one. Pull up to remove the toy part. Ooh. Damn. I'm really going to be thorough with this, huh? Okay. Oh, got to get individual wheels. Drag and drop the tool to the correct location. Okay, here I go. Oof. Move up the tool. Good. You guys, remember, this is a free tip from me. If you're ever changing the wheels on a toy wooden train, you gotta remove the front wheels. Trust me, you don't, you don't want to make that mistake. <laughs> us, us toy uh, changers, us toy tinkers, as we are known in the industry. Uh, We've learned our lesson, trust me, the hard way. Send the next part of the toy to the next process. So if they're green, they're ready for assembly. If they're yellow... Uh... Okay... Toy parts with an equipment icon can be sent to... The, okay. Okay, where is this? Here? Oh, here, done. Oh, <laughs> why are they down here? <laughs> Look how tiny... Like, out of nowhere. Okay, I can zoom in a little bit. Good. Okay, so this green one is fine. This one needs some sort of... This one needs to go to the workbench. Why is everything floating? Like, can we... 
<laughs> and I'm on the workbench as well, it's a bit strange. Okay. Um, so somehow they bombard me with tutorials on the easiest part. But I have absolutely no idea what to do here now. Yeah, let's change the color. Ooh, that's a nice one. Ooh, I like this as well. Let's go with the nice dark, dark bluish green though. It's a nice little tint. So, the equipment list. Okay, I've got my ultrasonic cleaner. Okay. So, I, I, I assumed I transferred the part. <laughs> this jolly music doesn't make me feel any better. I mean, I, okay, so I click Q, we've got this, the radio, E is to stop, oh no, okay, so I'm doing things, right click, left click doesn't do anything, I'm clicking stuff, I mean, I read the tool, guys, did I miss something? What is going on? Why is it, this bear is very disturbing. Woo, let me try it. I'm clicking every key on my keyboard. Uh, there's multiple that stop the music. <laughs> okay. We go under. Oh, we had to. What? Didn't I already do this? Oh, this is like the next part. I don't know. Am I stupid? Is that my bad? Maybe. Okay, now we do this. <sighs> but you know, like, there could have been an arrow pointing. Like, it's my first toy! Don't tell me press the laptop and buy two different things the same way from different tabs. Help me out, man. I mean, I, I mean, okay. I un I don't blame them. They think I'm the toy tinker. I am better than Santa after all. So, okay. So the ultrasonic cleaner still needs one more part, right? We're gonna disassemble. I've learned my lesson. I've learned my lesson. I'm gonna use the chisel, of course. Everybody knows that at this point. Ooh, pop it out. That one was a little bit harder. Good. So now, got all these. All these parts ready to go. Now I go to the ultrasonic cleaner. So guys, this is the fun part. Pop these in. Okay, now we're ready. Return to the center of the workshop. Zoom in on the equipment you need. Oh guys, I'm so excited. Don't scrape the paint with the chisel. Who do you think I am? An amateur? <laughs> Start the equipment. We get to press the power button. Okay, here we go. Send the toy parts to the workbench. Oh my god. Ultrasonic cleanliness. Oh man. Whatever kid is gonna get this is gonna, is gonna be really happy. Yellow outline par toy parts are ready to assemble. Okay, pop the wheels in. Boom, boom, boom. You don't even... Okay. Okay, now we assemble this. Now we assemble this. Why does it sound electric when it's ultrasonic? <laughs> toy assembly is completed. Take a photo of the toy. Oh, we get to sell it on eBay for like triple the price do I get to rotate it or do I just click the photo button and that's it uh, that's it okay could have done that for me <laughs> oh wow I felt new emotions that I've never felt before with that jingle. <laughs> I don't know if that was, that sounded that sounded like epic mobile game trailer music, but at the same time, is this jazz? Some cook surf shit, yeah. Th this this chill good jazz. That other song was that's the genre mobile game ad trailer music. Deliver the toy. Hey little Timmy, just go to eBay.com. And buy it for 290 coins. Good. Okay. Oh, I can't do apprentice and stuff. Okay, you know what? It makes sense for you guys so you don't get overwhelmed. I'll go slow. Okay, the toy telephone. The toy telephone. So, okay. So we need to buy the original parts. Ooh! Pin everything. Why not? At this point, why not just allow me to just pin 
Like, click one pin button at the top instead, right? So we need, do we, we already have an ultrasonic cleaner, okay. Get on Joy's music like he's getting attacked by a fly. Alright, so we go market. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Paint materials. We're gonna get the blue spray, for sure, guys, for sure. We're gonna get the orange spray in case we're feeling a little bit, a little bit spicy. We wanna make the telephone orange as well. But we're also gonna need to buy the entire paint set of multiple colors. Now, I know what you're, what you're thinking. Why are you buying the blue one separately? We'll just go with it, okay? So we're gonna get a sponge. That's, that's for me, not for the toy. I just need to take a shower after this. Uh... Detergent, that one's also for me. My hair doesn't get cleaned with shampoo very easily. So I just get a little bit of detergent. Uh, utility knife, that one's for self-defense. Screwdriver size, I don't know why I read that as oversized stick. <laughs> Screwdriver size 2. Tools? Screwdriver size 2, oh no. Oh, it's the, it's the, okay, it's this one. Ooh. There's so many options. Okay, here. Uh, the other one was the shape of the head, and then we can do size 2. Can we go for any color we want? Should I just stick with the one that it shows me on screen? Probably. Okay, good, good. And now finally we need brush paint. Excuse me? What's brush paint? Oh, it's an actual, like, it's an automatic tool? No, that's laser engraving. It looks kind of Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, I, my, I might enjoy this minigame here. Okay, so do we have everything we need? Clear, close, because I only know how to do that because the tutorial taught me. Uh, okay. Oh, I got a little plushie here. <gasps> its ear is off. Can I restore it? Ooh. Animal rescuer, what's this dude with a sword? He's near Pug. That's the plushie from Phasmo? Oh, right, it is! Yeah, they're probably- I mean, I know that Phasmophobia uses Unity assets, so... Probably the same here. That's the final boss! <laughs> you fix it at the end, you're like, oh wait! You bring up the plushie. Marcuson. I should have taken care of you a long time ago. Sorry, what? Excuse me? Excuse me? Huh? You don't understand? Simi, that's... When you get older, I'll tell you. <laughs> Alright, so... We go to the workbench. <laughs> Alright. It's just this music! I, I can't help myself! Let's change it. I'm getting too excited. Okay, so wait. What's the... I missed this step, obviously. Laptop? I bought my tools. I love that emoji, that's very good. I just like sense your disgust. So we've got our inventory, master collection, go away, go away. Okay, so how do I start my next thing? Let's remember, so I think workbench, right? Open the objectives. Um, maybe I'm on the wrong table. Oh, oh, painting varnish. Ooh, I don't think we have any, okay. Paint, brush paint. Hello? That bass drum is okay. How do I how do I start how do I start? Um, everything is zero out of zero. Um, okay, the floor isn't gonna have what I need. Guys, I accept. I need to accept it. We did it. Okay, here we are. The bass drum is hitting you in the back of the head. Doesn't it sound like it? It's like very loud. It li listen, it's back. That snare as well is very like... <laughs> I feel like the drummer is falling over his drum set. <laughs> it sounds so drunk. Alright. Go to the telephone. Okay. So we're gonna pull out the phone wire first. This is this is a toy telephone, right? Uh, okay. Chisel. We need this. Or something. Oh, we need a knife. So, you don't actually like choose, you don't need to figure out yourself what tool is for what. I mean, that's fair enough. Oh! 
Okay, we just severed it just like that. There it is. It's nice and clean already. I'm gonna pull out the dial, the buttons. I just gotta use my manly hands for that one. Sounds like the upstairs neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ooh, this phone is so icky. Is that worth it? That's pretty immersive, I think. They got this piece. Uh, my character's just like zooming in, pulling the thing off, zooming in again. Okay, let's use our tool here. Ooh! Oh, it's a screwdriver. Never mind. I thought we were gonna hammer something. Ooh, that's loud. Okay, now we clean it in the faucet. Uh, so these go to the ultrasonic. This goes to the faucet, and that's fine as it is. Oh, I'm really excited for the faucet, guys. It's called- I call it the cleaning table. Santa calls it the faucet or the sink. <laughs> I've watched YouTube videos of people doing stuff like this, very satisfying. Yeah, in real life it's probably a lot more satisfying as well. Like, re-restoring re something. Oh, we get the scrub. Woohoo! Cue- Cue the scene with Spongebob where he's a real-life sponge and he's going woohoo! That's how I feel right now. Painting? Wait, let's turn off the- No, no, I'm wasting water! Oh, okay. Never mind. We weren't done. Okay. And now... I did the water! Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Luckily, it's automatic. When you walk away, it turns off. It's amazing how every game uses the same sound to indicate that something is clean. Yeah. <laughs> Bling! Okay, brush paint. Are there still- I think we're missing one more item to come to the- Oh yeah, we need to clean. Ultrasonic cleaner. We gotta paint everything at the same time. I don't like the sound of this. And why do I have to stare at it clean? It would be cool if you press it and then you go and work on your other stuff. Like... You know. Like in PC Building Simulator, you're like... When you're installing an update or scanning for virus, you go and work on your other thing and you try, try to manage your time, you know? But that's okay. Uh... Is this clean? It doesn't... Okay, th this stuff is clean. We gotta go here and send it probably to the painting thing. Yes, and you two. Okay, do you guys wanna do brush paint first? I wanna do brush paint last. That, that one sounds a lot more exciting. So we're gonna paint this one blue. And it just spins around. That's a bit... That's a bit lame. They, it's a bit more satisfying when you get to spin it around and yourself, you know? That's okay, I'll allow it. Paint over the dirt? No, I think that was peeled paint. Oh, we got the orange for this. I told you I'd need the orange, guys. You didn't believe me. Nobody wanted to believe me. Everybody doubted me. Everyone said, but Santa wouldn't do that. Santa isn't here, okay? Rush paint. Here we go. This, uh, I'm, I'm, this is the part I've been really excited for. Oh, this little... Look at the paint. The sound... It, the music's very loud, right? Can I just lower it a bit? I enjoy it, but it's a bit loud. I feel like I'm shouting here. Oh my god, that's so much better. I think I can actually think. I think the song was just fading out. Oh, it's fading back in! <laughs> this is an acceptable sound. That is better, right? That's so much- Oh, here's the drums. Just once that time. Okay. Good. Please let me out of here. Okay. Oh, we're not done. Ooh, but I would have liked to color select, pick, pick the orange, paint it, right? Are you guys with me? Am I being too harsh? I feel like part of the fun of these simulation games is the tediousness and doing every small relaxing step. Like you take your time, but here it's just like you click and it just it's all done for you. Like that's how it is at Santa's workshop. Missed opportunities, that's what I'm saying. At Gena's workshop over here, uh, sorry, at Fox Santa's workshop, we do, we want to, we try to do things differently, but the man keeps us down. Got you, you feel me? All right, let's assemble it. I mean, hey, we did all right, guys. We did all right. These sounds are loud and annoying. Ooh. Toy assembly is completed. Take a photo of the toy. Like, why do I feel like I'm? Why is that an order? Pick up the can. Take a photo of the can. Maybe the harder parts require that. Maybe. I don't think so, though. I feel like that's too much of a mechanic change, but maybe. Why is it not in the center of the message? I didn't see. Can you stop punching my ear, bro? Do you guys hear it the same way? 
I just send this one in my right ear. It's so annoying. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's that's good. Kind of aggressive. I don't like the way it's turning it, turning at me like that. All right, lame ass toy. I think Guff probably likes it, right? Okay, let's, uh, what do you guys want to do? Let's do, what? I don't understand what the, this... I'm sorry, but this looks... I'll just say it doesn't look like a... It doesn't look like a kid's toy. Yeah. yeah. It looks like a toy, but not like a kid's toy. That's all I'll say, you know what I mean? <laughs> if I got that shit for Christmas, I'd be pretty disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Well, Gena's workshop, I mean, fuck Santa's workshop. Doesn't, we don't work on Christmas. We work all year round, baby, except Christmas. That's when we, we vacate to celebrate Christ, you know? But Santa doesn't give a fuck. You know, I think you can select the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do you think I, like, somehow made it stick on the same one or something? It was Q. Oh, you know what? Yeah, <laughs> we've been repeating. You know what I mean? So we'll do shuffling and we'll skip song. we we'll do next. Next list? Next to music. Oh, this is multiple lists. Ooh. Welcome to Discovery. Ever wondered how toys get restored? <laughs> We've got our professional toy restorer. Well, so, <laughs> what? Why ignore everything? I'm gonna. Uh, I'm trying to entertain the people. It doesn't say kids toy anywhere, it just says toy tinker. That's true. Sounds like James's music. Is this Spore Vehicle Builder 2.0? No. Sorry, Quinn. And now it's not funny anymore. It was still humorous, Simina. I think we should change our workshop to Fuck Simina instead of Fuck Santa. Fucking hater. You probably like Santa, don't you? Stupid ass guy wearing red. Let's buy some varnish. Welcome to Discovery. Today, find out how we fix... I'm, I'm trying to like... You know how dramatic they are with the... The crazy music and the, the cues and it's like... Dr Somehow, even though we're just restoring toys, there will be drama in this episode. You know? Like someone's gonna come in and they're gonna be like... BOSS! We're out of varnish. And I'm like, what do you mean we're out of varnish? And then it cuts the commercial. And then you come back and then it cuts the commercial two minutes later. That's the discovery experience. That's the television experience. All right, so varnish, sanding block, printer. So we're gonna buy a printer. Pew, pew. Ooh! Sanding block. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Gotta get me some varnish. Okay. And then we gotta accept the project. You have an active project. Please check your active project before starting a new one. Okay, or back. Which one do I do? Deliver. Okay. Thank you so much. Now I can accept this one. <laughs> I told you to bar buy varnish two weeks ago. Dun dun. Another commercial break. Oh, so this is one thing? What is this? Is this like a... Is this... Is this covered in something? Okay, we're gonna sand it. Let's see. What the fuck is this? Like an alien wooden sculpture of a slug? Okay, let's go. I gotta say though, this guitar is sick, dude. Oh, we can. Pr oh, we're gonna print a part. Oh, <gasps> is it dildo? <laughs> we'll see. Oh, it's zero out of one. Wait, but it says out of one. Okay, let's just go here and see. So we're gonna paint this. I don't, I'm sorry. But what is this? Oh, we're varnishing it. <laughs> what? what are we making? I don't understand what this toy is.
I now know what I must do. Oh, that's it? We're not even painting the body? That's the shittiest toy I've ever seen! I'm gonna go bankrupt after this. This is, this is where the drama comes in on the Discovery Show. What do you mean that's all? I told you we didn't order the stickers for the body, but I told you to get the stickers. We can't just deliver it like this. I'm telling you there's a deadline. We gotta deliver it right now. Christmas is around the corner. <sighs> what? We couldn't even color the ball. We couldn't even color the body. It looks like a shark, not like a seal. Look at it. Are you sure it's finished? Before and after? I think you should have left it before. It was better before. I have to rectify this. Why is this like a cool version of... It's, it's like a cool version of a classical song. Which one? You guys see what I'm hearing? It's totally like it's totally like a cover of that classical song I'm trying to think of. It, uh, is it? I wanna say Blue Danube, but I'm not sure. It is very cool. I actually really like it a lot. I can't think of them. Um, not Blue Danube. Okay. All right. Good. That was a fast one uh, because it doesn't really count as a toy. But you know what? Wait, I delivered it now. But last time I had to deliver it from here. What changed? Okay, forget the vehicles. Oh no, we need one. Okay. That was I, I had that song. That was cool. Okay, what do you guys? Which one do we do next? Right one. I was thinking the same. I I was thinking this. <gasps> okay, we'll do the most cycle after if we require it. Required cleaners. Here we go. Detergent and sponge. These ones are not for me. That's kind of obvious though, right guys? <laughs> Except. You have an active project? Where? This is intense music. Wait, I can sleep? How do I sleep? Listen, oh, I can interact with the aquarium. Yo, hey guys, it's really intense right now. Intense food. Okay, so that's our goal in the game, to make enough money to feed our fish. Can I sleep on the couch? I don't even have a bed. Whoa, we fly over there. Oh, <laughs> I can just like see the model like. Okay, what is this? Oh. Very good. Okay, good. Um, I'm about to sneeze. It's all the varnish. Repair fish, Cirophasma ghost, exactly. Can I... I stop the music again. That was a bit too intense for me anyway. Okay, I don't see the option. I don't see a bed, so I, I don't think I can actually sleep. The Phasma ghosts are just trying to fix items, exactly. How do I... Go to museum? <gasps> Thanks to my father. This is the sad, the like, reminiscent episode of the Discovery Toy. Toy Tinker show. Huh? Yes. I remember when I was just a little tyke. My father brought me to this empty museum and I thought to myself, Why the fuck are we here? And he said, for the flashback in your future. I didn't understand at the time. Now I do. I'm gonna click the start button. Oh, we're not ready to start. Okay, so we're gonna open the museum. Okay, exit. I'm sure. Oh. Oh, so. Have I not delivered it yet? There's a tiny hitbox for it. Okay, so I can inspect it closely. <laughs> Wait, maybe it's not actually done? Maybe we were too harsh. You think it's actually not finished? I mean, yeah. Open the equipment list. You finished your work on the equipment. 
Okay. Yeah, I think it might not actually be done. But I got everything I needed, didn't I? Let's check our objectives. Ooh. Ooh. Project. Active project. I it is done. Okay, so it actually is done. It, so it was actually done. Just an FYI for you guys. Oh, we should have totally done the rocket ship. Okay, we'll do. The, we'll finish this stupid truck. Sorry, I shouldn't have lashed out of the truck. Okay, so I'm only. G I'm gonna be satisfied if this is like bright yellow and this is a black or something. But if it's just brown, ugh, this looks like a donut. It's awful. Ugh, it's like covered in gunk. What? What? How did these? How did these become this dirty? Ugh! They look like they're made of leather. It looks like a poo. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. I do this for my friends. All the friends I lost back home. I am the toy tinkerer, and nothing can stop me. Ew! Well, okay, maybe this gross thing. Maybe I'll stop here, actually. Um, yeah, this one's a little bit too gross for me. Uh, might be skipping this one. I don't think it's worth reselling for, like, two, two, two bucks. Okay, gotta go to the cleaning table. Turn on the faucet. Remember, always scrub real hard. Is green... It's more gross than it was before. Why does it look like a Shrek mobile? Oh, we gotta clean all the disgusting wheels individually. Click. Okay, next wheel. Thank you very much. Okay, this part's yellow. I'm a bit more pleased. Because Shrek is best. He needs to go somewhere with the donkey. Carry all his kids around, dude. Why green? Okay, you know what? I'm not the toy maker. I'm the toy tinkerer. And if there's anything to tinker, trust me, I'm the guy. He said it wrong again? Tinkerer! It's not toy tinker, bitch. What are you talking about? Look at top left. I am the toy tinkerer, bro. Don't tell me about my... my job? Don't tell me about my professional... Also, we just got a random... Where did we find a replacement? I've got to say that I, I, I don't like... I don't like this color and I don't, I don't like this part. Makes me unhappy every time. Okay, ready to go. Alright guys, are you ready for the... Either the rocket ship, or if we unlock a level 3 thing, we'll do that. Uh. This is a replacement wheel? You bought it? Yeah, I know we bought it, but like, who's selling replacement wheels? We delivered it. Okay. So, we could do Shrek's house next. Ooh, plane. These, these are like Fallout. Like, these are so dirty, they're like they were found in Fallout. What, what kids are doing this? Maybe this game is set in the Fallout universe, I don't know. Okay, which one do you guys want, my friends? Oh my god, we're only level 1. Okay, we got a lot to get. We got a lot to do still. The background looks like Fallout 2. <laughs> the wallpaper, yeah. Let's do the rocket ship, right? I think that's... I think we all wanted that. So we got the printer already, we gotta buy some sprays. Gotta get screwdriver and buy the original parts. Ah! Uh. So do I already... Do I still own the screwdriver? I don't think so, right? The screwdriver size 2. Let's get this one. Does it count? No, it doesn't! Uh oh. Okay, we'll get this one. But, oh, size 3. Oops. Okay, now for science. By that, oh, that does count. Okay. Uh, we need a black spray. Obviously, the rocket ship needs to have a bit of black. That's for sure. Orange. We're gonna get some dark red. And guys. I don't think I've ever said this before on camera, but I think we're ready to go. That's right, I'm the Toy Tinkerer. 
Let's throw the logo up on the screen now. That was pretty good timing. I should have held it a little bit longer, but Okay, let's switch let's switch playlist. Next list. So I like list one. I'm a uh, list three, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Um <laughs> All right, let's let's give the, let's let's start this one up, baby. Except, ready to get my hands dirty. So we're gonna print. We obviously need to print. I don't know if you guys, <laughs> maybe you don't have a keen eye like me because I am the toy tinkerer. But I noticed straight away that there's a there's a broken wing. See, that's the thing. When you're in this professional industry business, you notice this stuff immediately. Gonna pull. Luckily. I know uh, how to just, pu just pull it out really easily. Ooh, ooh! Looks like it's a job for uh, my screwdriver. I think I'm gonna have to say, "Yep, told you guys." <laughs> I know what I'm doing. This is my first time at the rodeo. All right. So this is what we call a, a capsule. Right, it's the final piece of the spaceship. Now, what you might not know as a not no, no toy tinker yourself um, is that the capsule is probably one of the most challenging things to re restore. That's true. So what we're gonna do is come look at the printer, but then we're gonna back away. Now that's an important step. Um, I'm not gonna bother going into detail, but it, it does matter a lot. So you, as you can see, that was very hard to restore the capsule. So now we're done with that. We're gonna refurbish the, the three remaining fins, the ones that have not been tarnished. Entirely, anyway. <laughs> hey, Mike! That's... he's my helper in the show. He's got a big, um... <laughs> handlebar mustache. He's a... he's a big guy, but he's got a good heart. And then sometimes, like, I'm off screen, like, outside the workshop, they cut later and they're interviewing me, and I'm like, Yeah, yeah, Mike. What can I say? I mean, he's a good guy, you know, I knew him since uh, we were kids, we've been running the workshop all, all my life. <laughs> he can be a pain in the ass sometimes, but he, you know, when you need a guy, Mike is the, Mike's gonna get the job done. Looks like you don't even need to shake the paint. Yeah, I don't need to do anything. <laughs> oh, you like to move it up and down, you mean? Yeah. I, you might be right about that as well. Okay, we're gonna put some stickers. Boom! Yes! Well, I, I want to move it around for immersion, Simi. I'm trying to immerse myself here. This is my show. I'm trying to live in fame as the toy tinkerer, you know? Mm. It, 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 you know what? I'm kind of proud of this one. Love your Monstera plant? Gonna have to take a look. Alright, here we go. But this one I'm proud of. This one, I mean, it's not like, uh, it doesn't... It's not covered in shit, the original, but first of all, it's a good thing. But it's... This ruins my mood every time. I don't even want to finish what I was saying. Where's the other fin? Oh, we put them all. Don't worry. Oh, is this my Monstera plant? Thank you so much for noticing. Or is it this one? Either way, thank you so much for noticing. You know, uh... <laughs> Us over here at the Toy Tinker Workshop. You know, uh, gotta say, we love plants. We look like tough guys on the outside, but we're on the inside, we're little kids. You know, we love to make the toys. We're restoring them because we want to help the kids out like we wanted to be helped ourselves. Isn't that right, Mike? <laughs> He's a softie over there. He's starting to tear up a little bit. Alright, so. Uh, let's go deliver this bad boy. Imagine I slapped it. And then it falls off the table and it breaks and I have to restore it again. Good. Toy's been delivered. Can we do apprentice stuff yet? No. Ooh, what? Is, what? Huh? Is it like a seesaw column? Which one do you guys want? Ooh, I come, I'm kind of... I'm looking at the boat. I'm looking at the plane. Maybe the seesaw as well. I, I accept either. Ship? Okay, okay. Motorcycle? I'm not doing the motorcycle guff. I can see all of these in a horror game house. Yeah, I mean, we've already confirmed it. They are the same assets as Phasmophobia, so... It's very likely. 
All right. Sorry, sorry, Guff. No motorcycles here, okay? <laughs> Gotta say, we're a strictly no motorcycle household. I'll tell you the story another time. All right, let's pull this off. So, the first thing you gotta do when you're when you're dealing with something like this, this is what you come to the tin toy tinkerer for. You gotta make sure there's nothing hiding inside the chimney. Might find a little mouse making some steam or something. He might be whistling a lot. So we're gonna use our chisel for this tool. You gotta be real careful. You gotta pry it like you would your mother. You gotta pry it like you would your sister. You gotta be real nice and gentle. Now, when you're dealing with flags, you yank them off. It needs a little bit of practice, but, uh... I'm a toy tinkerer myself, so... You know, I know how to do it real quick. I'm gonna throw these in... Into the ultrasonic cleaner. Now this bad boy... <laughs> this gets the job done. Saves us a lot of time. Reminds me of the ship from Before Your Eyes. I still haven't played that. I have it. How long... Is that... That's a short game, right? I should play it one day. Oh. That game always looked really cool. Uh, you know, I gotta say, I know that game, I'm a soft guy. I, I, I don't think Mike could handle it, but that game, I think I might tear up. What are we doing here? Printer. Take this one to the printer. Now the printer, this bad boy. <laughs> well, what can I say? It saved me, uh, it saved me a lot. A lot of hassle in the past. Pop these stickers in. Who doesn't like penguins, am I right? This penguin looks kind of familiar. Where do I know this penguin from? Him is lolling. Why do I know this penguin? If you look up the penguin clip art or PNGs, it's not a club penguin penguin, no. You'll find those if you search penguin clip art. Okay. This is like the first search result. Gotta take a picture. There it is. Now this bad boy. This, whoever, whatever kid gets this is a lucky kid. That's all I'll say. <laughs> that fucking music. <laughs> I mean, how did no one test that? It happens literally every toy you create. Did they not think that two overlapping songs of entirely different genres would sound like shit? How did they not test that? I don't understand. And this bass drum in my right ear. Uh. Okay. Alright guys, I'm getting pretty excited for our, for the... For the next... Oh, it's a teddy bear! We gotta restore... Now listen. I'm dead serious right now. Am I not Mike? Yeah, Mike knows when I'm being dead serious. Wait, this is too sexy. Hang on. We can't have this. We just pause it for one second. I'm being serious right now. Mike. Mikey. Yeah. Whenever you have a teddy bear of this caliber, you clean it. it you restore it immediately. Yeah, my, Mike and I have had way too many close calls. We know that these kind of things can trap cursed souls. It's true. Anyway, back to the... Back to the music. So, you need a sponge detergent. Immediately. But most importantly, the filling machine. That's right, because we're gonna fill this teddy bear with so much stuffing, there's not enough space for the roaming soul to be inside and take over. it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the tools. Sponge. Hey, Mikey, get that detergent from the special detergent. What? Yeah, you get the special detergent from the cupboard. Alright, that's a good boy. And now... Ooh, we can get decoration! Hang on. Hey, oh, hang on. The, the exorcism can wait. <laughs> Furniture? Sofa. Big sofa. Hey, yo, Mikey, we got money for the big sofa! <laughs> the one that fits, like, five people. Alright, we'll, we'll hold off for a second. Let's see. Carpets? We can get carpets. Ooh! Mikey, I gotta say, I love that blue... <laughs> oh, I got, like, the blue circle. We're buying that one, Mikey. Oh, we got... Gotta get a cactus. And you know, my mama always said that cactuses, uh... They bring life to the world. Because they got water in them. I don't know if you know... I don't know if anybody over there knew that. You knew that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, cactus, they, uh... They provide water to the land. 
feel like the voice has changed over time. Oh, we gotta get a bean bag. Hey, yo, Mikey, get the pink, the pink bean bag to complement the carpet. The blue, the blue carpet. Gotta get a ball. That one, yeah, that one's just I don't. We're just burning money at this point. Get the nice vase. No, Mikey, it's pronounced vase, not vase. Some people are so illiterate, you know, down the days. All right. What do we need? Filling machine. Oh shit. <laughs> Mikey, we gotta we gotta sell back the carpet. <laughs> Mikey, you gotta sell the carpet. No, yeah, but because we need the filling machine. Yeah, we gotta sell the car. I'm sorry, Mikey. What do you mean we can't sell? What do you mean we can't sell it? I <laughs> don't no, sell it. Carpet. We can't sell. Oh, I got it. We didn't even equip it, Mikey. What did I buy? I bought a carpet. I bought a um, bean bag. I don't know where that was. Others. Boom. Ball. Ooh. Hey, yo, Mike, we gotta hold off on the exorcism. We don't have money. Um, oh, that's a nice carpet, though. That was so worth it. Look at the bean bag. I don't think that can fit a, a human. Where's the ball? It's tiny. Oh, but we can throw it around. Okay, that is actually the best feature of the game. It's a lost behind the fucking table. Oh, it's back. Yes. Hey, yo, Mikey, pass. I'm open. <laughs> And you know, you know, me and Mikey, we go way back. We like to fool around in the workshop sometimes. You know, work's gotta be fun as well if you're working the toy tinker. Can you soft block yourself in this game? I hope not. I didn't expect that. I mean... No, I think there's some toys that... Uh, <laughs> we'll find out. I think there's some toys you can buy that are probably cheaper to restore. Like this, I have everything required. So let's do that. Alright, gotta disassemble this. Now listen, if there's anything that's cursed that's not the teddy bear, it's this. Yeah, oh yeah. Now see, Mikey is actually quite uh, percep perceptive to um, the afterlife. And right now he's telling me, I'm getting the look from him. I'm understanding that there is definitely some sort of phantom or specter within this object. Don't let the music fool you, this is very cursed, yeah. And we gotta, yeah, you know what, we gotta get something a bit- who, Also, who turned up the volume of the music again? I can't hear myself. Yo, me and Mikey. I, mean, I love him like a brother. I mean, what can I say? <laughs> this is what you have the ultrasonic cleaner for, exactly. Yeah, but me and Mikey, though, um, you know, I, I, I love him like a brother, man. I mean, what can I say? We go way back. He's been there for me when I need him. I've been there with when he needs him, me. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Come here, Mikey. He's a bit camera shy. Well, listen, Mikey, no matter what happens today, I don't even care what the, if the cameras are on over here. Mikey, no matter what happens today, why do you keep moving around, Mikey? We're exercising this demon. Together. Let's do this. Alright. Here we go. Hand in hand. We've disassembled everything. We're going to put these in the ultrasonic cleaner. Now, the thing is... The ghost is already trying to play mind games with us. I got it. We didn't disassemble the last piece. Oh, we did? What? Okay. I guess we did. Do you complete each other's orders at McDonald's? We complete each other's. You meant to say sentences, Mikey. Alright, never mind. It's fine. And you know, he's a thick guy, but I love him. What can I say? Alright, we're gonna go to the sta standing block. This is usually Mikey's job, but, uh... We brought in the intern, Jonathan, to do them nowadays, but you know, now for the show, I'm doing it. Yeah, this one's definitely cursed, but I think he's sensing an even stronger aura from the other, uh, the other piece. Oh, yeah, there it is. So we're gonna start sanding the ghost out. 
And now the main uh, chalice pillar. We call it a chiller. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna take the brush paint. And now, because I got the most delicate fingers in the in the in the workshop, you can tell. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is uh start painting. Really nice and soft like. Like you would with your mother, you know? And it's that easy. Bada bing, bada doon, as they say. What? That is how it is. It's bada bing, bada doon, man. Anyway. Please stop the mother comments. <laughs> Why? I'm just showing respect. You gotta respect your mother. If you don't respect your mother, what's the point? I don't want to know how soft to do with your mom. <laughs> hey. You don't take Connie to talk like that in the workshop. You take that to Santa's workshop, okay? Santa's the one fucking drinking milk and eating cookies while the kids are asleep and mama's awake and she says, Oh, I saw Santa. We don't do that in, in our workshop. We respect mothers. We don't do any tomfoolery. Very blue? Oh, because it's the boy, huh? See, that's why at this workshop we do things differently. If this was Santa, the girl would be pink. That's right. We don't conform to stereotypes. Now, if we, hopefully the, the, so just so you guys know, I'm breaking character a little bit. Just so you guys know the whole, the whole aim of this episode of the Discovery Show right now is the workshop is trying to make enough money to be able to pull off this exorcism. Because they're now down in the drain. They, they, he got drunk and spent all his money on carpets and cactus. We didn't equip the cactus. So now they're, that's the main goal, right? They're trying, they're trying to see how much money they get. It'll be over soon, Mikey, don't worry. Let's close your ears. All right, it's the moment of truth. Actually, the narrator. Today's the moment of truth at the Fuck Santa workshop. Will they make enough money back? We're about to find out. To crack open a cold one with the boys? Thank you so much, Sayani, for redeeming drink water. That's the sound of the ghost leaving our realm. <laughs> and Walt spins around. And you see the, the mist of the ghost come out and it says, I cast you. I died in a, on a sea, so oh, the ghost died from a sea. That's usually see. That's how ghosts ghosts aren't very original. That's what Mikey told me one day. He says they just possess the thing that they died on. Not very creative. All right. So, do we make enough money? Thank you so much, Sunny Flower, for redeeming drink water. Absolutely delicious. We got another ship, but can we do this? Filling machine. Please. This is, see, this is the... No. 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 You, oh, you guys can't see the money in the top left. Uh, how do I do this? Top left. Eight coins short. See, now this is where the drama comes in in the Discovery Show. You know, when I broke the news to Mikey, I didn't know how he'd take it. I could tell he was trying to act strong, but I saw the heartbreak in his eyes. And when my brother's heartbroken, I'm heartbroken. Take out a loan? Guff, you think in this toy tinkering business, we can just take loans? They don't show us respect in this industry, Guff. Us toy tinkerers gotta work hard, bleed and sweat. Sometimes we cry, but not always. For our rights. Six coins loan that you have to pay back 1,000 for. All right, one more day. Another day, another boat. No, we're not doing another boat, we're doing a plane. Do we have the materials though? Yeah, they shouldn't be expensive. It's just one good old varnish. Ooh! I promise you, Mikey, after this one, we're exercising that teddy bear. See, that's the thing. I remember how I said you gotta do these teddy bear exorcisms immediately? 
but we've waited too long. That, but see, this is how you build up tension in the season. The last episode of the season is us exercising this teddy bear, and it's gonna be like, oh, does the ghost come out? Are we too late? You never, you gotta tune in to find out on Discovery Channel Toy Tinkerer. Let's throw the logo up every time I do that, guys, okay? All right, thank you so much. All right, so we gotta pop the wheel off. That's very evident. Gotta get the boomerang wing. Oh, is it? We could also just restore this as a boomerang. This ghost is from a plane crash, right? Not, not everything is not everything is possessed, Diane. This is though. You are right. Yes. Okay. All right, we gotta put all these in. One more thing on the sanding block. Why do you have to do this one like this? It's so weird. You click the main body and you have to do it there. That's very strange. Okay. Amelia Ar <laughs> Earhart. I know I misspelled big. I've cut out a logo from a piece of paper that I put up every time. Thank you so much, Goff. Hey, yo, I gotta say, by the way, me and Mikey, shout out to the fans at home. We love you guys. We got the best community. We got the best subreddit. Visit um, Mikey's Toy Tinker, sh Toy Tinker Shop. We're doing it. We're trying to rebrand it because it. I actually do most of the work here, and it's named after Mikey. Um, I swear I haven't introduced myself. Uh, this might be a good time. My name is Commercial Break. Uh, want to become famous? No, thank you, BXT. Uh, I can do it another way. Thank you so much, though. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, oh, oh, that's a lot. Guff doing some work. Thank you so much, Guff. <laughs> Banned all these people. I thought we banned. I thought we banned those uh, sayings, though. Or that, that phrase. The bot brought all its friends. <laughs> They're like, you came to the wrong neighborhood. You're gonna get famous, whether you like it or not. Hello, holy granoli. Why you say cock? Oh, guff. Guff, I like your one liner. I'll take care of it. Gotta scratch that wheel up. Ooh! Guys, tell me, are you hyped in chat to exercise the teddy bear? Please let me know. Guys, oh, can I get some, some bears in chat or something? Just to show your hype? Just give me some bears in chat. It would make Mike so happy. Yeah, you're right, Timmy. I can just hold it. Very nice. Oh, it's, it is really satisfying how shiny it is, though. That's a, that's a bear. That's a bear, for sure. It's an animal. Um, it's a mammal. It's uh, it ha has ears. Oh, I've got to say, I like the label of the varnish too. It's very nice and very, very nice. Ah. <sighs> so today is a momentous day in the workshop. Mikey's been nervous for all these hours. I promised him we'll be able to exercise the bear tomorrow. He said his uh, his family was killed by a bear ghost, teddy bear ghost, so um, it would mean a lot if we don't let this happen to someone else's family. Got a lot on our shoulders today, so uh, we're going to see if we make enough money, and tomorrow we can exercise the ghost on Toy Tinkerer's Workshop. That was also good timing, huh? Like... I mean, I do TV for a living. I mean, what can I say? I'm on Discovery day and night. All right. I still can't believe that we shipped out that seal toy. I mean, that was truly disgraceful. I am actually a little bit embarrassed. Granoli, I gotta say you look good with those sunglasses. All right. It's the moment of truth. <laughs> Disaster strikes again at the Toy Tinkerer's workshop. Look at the money. I don't know, I'm gonna tell Mike. 
Oh, I didn't sell it, you're right. Wait, hang on, wait, you're ruining the moments in me. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna tell Mike. We have less money than we had yesterday. And I told him we'd fix up the teddy bear. What are we gonna do? Disaster strikes again at the Toy Tinkerer's workshop. But a beacon of light shows up. Hey, boss! <laughs> what is it? We didn't sell the thing yet. Oh, Brucey, I could just kiss you! Oh, mwah! You genius! And just like that, the toy tinkerer's worries were over. Mikey! Come here, Mikey! I told you we could have enough money for the bo bear exorcism. We're gonna buy the equipment right now, the filling machine that you wanted? It's yours, my friend. This is how the episode ends. It pans out outside the building, and it's just like this sad, like, happy music. The Toy Tinkerer Workshop rejoices. Tomorrow, they start the exorcism. Wait, let me switch to the correct list. Toy Tinkerer's Workshop. The credits, you know? Watch them buy the wrong thing? Oh no, Simina, we're fine. We're safe. Are you guys ready for the exorcism music? This ain't it, by the way. This is just the celebration. This is still the credit music. Just so you guys don't get confused. Produced by Mikey. Directed by Mikey. Mikey played by Mikey. All resemblances to Mikey's are completely coincidental. Thank you so much, Guff. Alright. Are you guys ready for the exorcism? I'm ready. List 3. This is not it. <sighs> I'm ready, guys. Oh my god, that is, like, actually super cursed. Mikey, get me the heavy duty gloves. Psh. Montage of getting all my exorcism gear on. Let's take this bad boy to the sink. Waiting for the music to kick in. And then we start scrubbing. Are you guys ready? It's in the corner. Yeah, it was really horrible. Mikey, this is the date. No other families are ever gonna suffer what you suffered, Mikey. And because of you on this date, the world is gonna be a cleaner. Come on, get on with it. A cleaner place. Fuck it, let's just get on with it. <laughs> this is not the music I wanted. <laughs> You're ruining the moment! I was trying to have a cool exorcism. Track 5? I fucking hate this image as well. There's something horrible about it. It This is... Before we... Bef we gotta start the exorcism by performing a funeral for the departed. May you rest in peace. Ye who was killed by a bear. May you forever be at peace. We, are, we already said. Alright, let's clean it up, baby. <laughs> and now, the most important part. Nope. We look at the nose. We look at the. Sorry, red. We look at the printer. And we fill it up. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Why's it gotta be through the ass? Well, um... That's just how we do it around these parts. 
All right, here we go. Guile? Yeah, it does sound like it. All right. It, <laughs> it's so epic. Mikey, I want you to know I did this for you, brother. We're in this together no matter what happens. It honestly doesn't look any less spooky. It's still kind of cursed, but I guess we did it. Cue the sixth guitar solo. Brother, you'll always be my brother, Mikey. Ugh! Get that off the screen! Another one! What do you guys say? Do we take the risk and exercise another one? Or is this one of the famed decoys? What do you guys think? Oh my god, I didn't realize there would be a second boss. This one has blood on it, so you gotta. Unless it's a red herring, but in this case a red bear. That's why. I'm the toy tinkerer, and you're not. Yeah, we can try it out. Yeah, this was the exorcism music I was looking for, man. It's okay. Number two. Sponge and detergent. Okay. No! Back away from the laptop. The ghost is trying to pull me away. Gotta get the detergent. <sighs> Start the mission. How do I... There it is. <sighs> Gotta take it to the sink. We're doing a speedrun of this one. Ooh! It, it, it was the twin soul of the ghost. We can't... We can't only do one. No! We gotta look at the paint, remember. Now, see, when it's pink, you look at the paint and you walk away, not the printer. Now, you might be asking yourself, again, why would the... What, what's with the... What's with the rectum? And to that I say, stop being so juvenile and immature. This is real work that we do here. This is serious work. This is serious work, uh, mature work that we do at uh, Fuck Santa Workshop. Good. Toy assembly. Oh, can we, like, pop a nose on? What is this? Don't look at the left image, guys. It might be disturbing for some viewers. There is a nose, but it's textured. What the fuck is this, man? No, we're drawing the line. That's it, no. There's too much exorcism for one day. If we release too many ghosts at once, they could cause, cause a ghost bomb. Uh, it's not a spirit bomb, it's a ghost bomb. And trust me, bad things happen. Are right, we gonna switch the music? Yeah, we're ending the episode already. Yeah, this one. What do you mean it's only, fi it's only 15 minutes? Yeah, we get out of the workshop. We're the ones who run this place. Alright, so I gotta say. Mr. Sheep, I would request a toy tur tur tinker workshop pose. My friend, you were about to get one. We gotta say thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. Me and my Mikey here. We work hard. This, is, this workshop is our passion. But we gotta say, you gotta love what you do. And if we're doing things with love, then the toys come to you naturally and so that's what we're doing here at uh, the toy tinkers workshop make sure to tune in on discovery next episode where we uh what what beats an exorcism we go to hell we, we go to hell at toy tinkers workshop on discovery
Doom theme starts playing? <laughs> 